Hi guys, it's me Mr. Acker here and this is one of those great days when a special package arrives from America, from Sarasota, from the guys at NGC and it's always great to receive this kind of package. This one comes in a particularly long box and uh, I'm just going to take you through what's inside and we can have a chat about the different gradings and why things have been graded the way they were and the successes and the failures. So let's open the box. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's inside the box today and I don't know what order these are going to be and whether but let's have a look okay so the first one is one of the successes and failures so this is a type 3 dollar and it came from, from a good source um, I wasn't told it was removed from jewelry when I bought it but I didn't pay absolutely top dollar for it, but um, it is an interesting kind of double die coin. So uh, whether you can see on the back, Let's see if we can see the, the double die variety. Yeah, you can see at the bottom, you see the little lines at the bottom. So it's an 1889, last year these were produced and it's a double die variety. So that variety is called VP001. So these guys at NGC have kindly given it the variety code, but um, it's actually a details pin. Um, so there you go. Okay, so this second coin is also interesting. This was sold as a double die coin. And 1887, there were only 7,500 of these coins produced. Uh, so it's a pretty rare coin. Um, unfortunately this one was details because it's improperly cleaned and I paid the $15 fee for variety attribution and because the guy who sold it to me told me it was a double die reverse coin but actually clearly it's not and you can see see the coin it's a it's a nice coin it still has a very good value even if it's in this condition um, it's still a lovely coin even though it's been cleaned but I thought it had a double die variety but they haven't attributed it with a double die variety let's take a look at the the next one in the box aha okay it's an Indian head. I think some of, some of you guys had previously seen this one as a raw, raw, a raw coin and had told me they thought it was probably cleaned and of course you guys were right it was a cleaned coin um, I thought it wasn't but that's kind of my my luck uh, 1909 half eagle Indian head um, AU but improperly cleaned uh, still a lovely coin and these coins are still valuable whether they're cleaned or not and it's probably worth maybe 20 or 30 bucks less than a, a regular coin because it's cleaned so another fabulous details coin courtesy of NGC let's take a look at the next one what have we got in the box Ah, a success. So, one dollar. This is a type one gold dollar. And uh, I think these started in about 1849, so this is 1853. Um, the type ones went up to part of 1854, I think, and then they moved on to the small Indian head type two coins. So, AU58, good result valuable coin no problems and that's much more what I like to see very pleased with that really nice coin ok 
Okay, let's have a look at this one. Aha! Eighteen sixty-two. This was um, this is a Type Three coin, and it's uh, the Civil War years. Um, these are pretty rare coins, really. There aren't that many of them around. A lot of the ones that are around are details coins and improperly cleaned. So you may think that I'm pulling out a lot of details coins, but in fact, a lot of the coins, a lot of these smaller American coins, are details graded. Um, it's really fairly unusual to get problem-free coins because so many of them were, um, I mean, they're so tiny, they're really tiny coins and so many of them were used in jewellery and stuff that um, it's really very few of them have, um, have, have survived since this time uh, without any problems. But um, I was hoping this one wouldn't be a details grade, but... Um, it's still a really nice coin, but unfortunately uh, NGC say that at some stage it was cleaned, although to me it looks like a really lovely coin and it will have a good value nevertheless. And moving on to the next, what's this one going to be? Okay, so this is a British Sovereign year 2000, Millennium Sovereign, um, MS64, which is not top grade for this coin, but not bad. And it really is just a regular Sovereign, but um, I quite like the idea of slabbing quite a few of these things, keeps them in good condition. And they, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, why bother to slab a modern coin? And there are some modern coins I quite like slabbing. It's very much a personal preference. Um, and uh, it's something that for some of them I do and for some of them I don't. But I thought this was nice in good condition uh, and I put it into a slab. Next up, what do we have here? Ah, oh, this is interesting. So this was a coin that I bought from a German trader. Um, the box was absolutely untouched, um, totally brilliant condition. The only thing it didn't have with it was the COA and all my other half ounce proofs have a COA with them. So I decided to have this one slapped because, um, well why not? There aren't very many of these. There's really very very few uh, that have been slabbed. It's a rare coin anyway, um, really lovely coin and I believe that PF69 is, there are no PF70s, so this is the finest of the few that have been slabbed so far. 1999, Year of the Rabbit, half ounce proof coin. Um, very pleased with this. As you can see, this is a really nice, perfect, lovely coin. Yeah, very happy with that one, very happy. And what's next? Okay. This is 1989 Proof uh, Panda. Um, there were lots and lots of the pandas in this year that were bullion pandas, uh, maybe a quarter of a million of them. And there were 25,000 Proof Pandas. This is one of the Proof Pandas, it comes in a lovely box, I have the box and COA as well and I thought it would be a nice idea getting it graded. Um, there are no 70s I don't think or if there are very 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 few uh, so 69 for this coin is an absolutely wonderful grade so really happy with this you can see it's a really beautiful coin. It was in the original mint plastic no one had opened it or touched it um, and I sent it off to them in the original packaging. Um, really nice coin very pleased. Right, let's see what we have still to come. Okay, this is a totally standard 2015 Bullion Sovereign. Um, 
I actually bought it at a very good price um, using the um, the eBay 20% off um, vouchers from a couple of months ago. And uh, so I think I paid £159 for it, which was really very good. And I thought, well, why not invest another few dollars in having it graded and sticking it in a slab, seeing as I got it at a good price. And uh, it's been given a good grade. MS67 is one of the higher grades for this coin. There's actually very few of them being slabbed anyway because it's a bullion coin. But again, one of my personal kind of preference things. I like to do it. A lot of people would disagree with me. Okay, let's have a look at this. What do we have? Okay, so this one is from JM Bullion, and this is a one tenth of an ounce Libertad 2015. Shout out to Lady Liberty Stacker because she made me aware of this offer. At least I think it was Lady Liberty Stacker. Might have been PD Ballerina. Um, I have to refresh my memory. But one of those two drew my attention to the fact that you could still get some of these. There are quite a few of these still for sale for about $144 at JM Bullion. They seem to have bought up the whole remaining stocks worldwide of these one-tenth coins. It may be because there are so many of them for sale that they um, are not going to be very rare and they may have produced more one-tenths than some of the other denominations because JM Bullion seems to have um, quite a few of them in stock available to buy. But I've, I've got two. The last one was an MS68. This one's an MS69. Very pleased with that. Um, I think mine are the only ones graded by NGC at the moment, um, but that may very well change at some stage. Let's see what's next. Okay, another one of those fabulous pickups. Um, this one um, was bought unseen from tenants, the auctioneers in Harrogate. Um, I put a, a, a bid in, forgot about it for a week and found that I'd won this coin in the, uh, the tenants auction. Um, it looked on pictures like a nice coin. I still think it's actually a really nice coin, but I think um, you can see that it's a tiny bit shiny, so it had been cleaned at some stage. So that one, um, nice coin, but um, it's a shame it got the details grading. Next up we have interesting coin, because this is quite an early one. Um, I, I, this was the, the second coin I won at the tenants auctions and um, I won this for a reasonable price at the auction um, and I thought it looked like a good coin and I'm really glad an AU55 is very good for these early coins it's a really nice coin problem free AU55 and um, the money that um, that I, I made on the value of this coin more than made up for the details grading on the previous one. Um, there aren't very many of these that have been graded um, and it's a really nice coin to have in the collection. Um, these two and a half dollar eagles are actually, you can see this one has, it's an early one, no motto, but the these, these coins are difficult to find and uh, some of them are pretty expensive. All right. Getting to the end gradually now. Sorry this video is taking so long. Next one. Okay, so this one is another really, really good um, grade. Uh, very pleased with this. MS62 1907 Eagle. Let's do a close up of it so you can see it. It's actually a really, a really nice clean coin. Very pleased with this one. That's a really, I knew it was a good coin and it just kind of, it's nice sometimes when your opinion gets kind of reinforced by the graders because sometimes I think I picked up something really good and they tell me it's just rubbish. So there you go, MS62 Eagle. Next up is a half eagle. Another one, 1881 is actually a very uh, common date. 
and so there are quite a few coins in good condition from that date but I was really pleased with uh, with this one the the guide price on an 1881 MS61 uh, is $600 on the NGC website and I'm very pleased with that it's a really good result lovely coin let's take a look at this one 1880 half half eagle again um, I can't remember exactly where I picked this up but again I thought this was a really nice one and this is another $600 coin according to the NGC website so very happy with the MS61 grading on that only a couple left let's have a look okay this one is uh, another half eagle so 1892 S it's an only an AU 58 but um, it's actually worth slightly more than these so 1880 and 1881 are pretty common dates but the 1892 S is much rarer I think the guide price on this is about $25 more than the MS61 because um, it's a San Francisco coin and it's a rarer date. Okay, so we've got one left. I think I know what this one is. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. That was worth waiting for, wasn't it? So uh, this was given a really, really good grade. MS63 Plus, very, very happy with that. This is the first one of these that I have, and it's absolutely beautiful. They say it's the most beautiful American gold coin ever made. I agree with that. And I'm really happy I managed to pick up a good one that's been given such a great rating. MS63 Plus, really good. It's not an uncommon coin, but um, it has a guide price from NGC of round about $1,900 in this grade, which I'm really happy with. There you go. What a nice way to round off my coin show. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry it was such a long video and uh, hope you enjoyed seeing my grading results, good and bad. This was actually part one, part two, is still at NGC, which was some coins like um, not not gold coins, some um, halfpennies and farthings and kind of copper kind of coins and other bits and pieces that should be back in a couple of weeks' time. So, if you like it, like it, uh, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed.